Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by. This is Alan, your mastermind handman. On today's video, I have a simple do-it-yourself video that I'd like to share with you guys, and that is, today, I have a bad door lock, doorknob in this interior door. This is a bathroom, and so it's just kind of, you know, came off inside so it's just kind of rotating and spinning it's not really doing the job basically so i'm going to be replacing it with another similar look alike uh interior key like uh door lock doorknob same thing um to go in there as always subscribe guys if you have not yet done that if you support diy home improvement types of videos that's what my channel uh, mastermind handyman is going to focus on so hopefully you subscribe and also if you have any questions any comments you want to share make sure to post those below the video so i can engage with you i've seen a lot of comments lately so thank you so much for that and also too uh very important if you are already a subscriber guys and you're watching yet another video thanks for tuning back in thanks for your support and so with that in mind Let's go ahead and learn how to replace this doorknob with another one. And I'll show you step by step how to do that. Most people will probably grab their Phillips screwdriver and begin to loosen up the screws very slowly, right? You put it right there and then you begin to just loosen it up until this entire piece comes off. You start to see how it comes off, but not me. I'm a mastermind handyman. I want this thing done right away. So instead, I'm going to use my drill with a fillet tip. And then instead, I'm going to go like this. And I'm done. Very straightforward. Now, of course, the next thing that we're going to do here is, let me show you. We're going to now separate the two from the door. Now you notice how it comes off completely. There are two different parts of the door lock. So let's go ahead and remove the screws from the ends here. Right, we got those out of there. And then now all you have to do is separate the two like this. It comes off. Forget your Phillip manual screwdriver. Instead, if you got yourself a drill bit, uh, I'm sorry, a, 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 a drill like this one with the Phillip tip, even better. Go ahead and take that thing out fast. Take those screws out of there like that. This one, we're just going to kind of push it from inside. You see what I'm doing from the inside here, right? Let me give you a little visual. Just kind of grab it from here and just push it out like that, right? Get it out. And that's it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide the new one in there like this. Remember that this this slide going up needs to be facing the plate because that's where the plate comes in at. Go like this. And then using the new screws that came with it, go ahead and put them back in the same hole. Don't, don't change anything other than the parts. As far as the uh, holes go, same spot because remember it's already measured and aligned to work with the plate on the door. Same idea. So this part is now done. We're finished here. We're gonna move this aside. So here's the same thing. Let me go ahead and get my tool here. Get those out of there. Love using the, uh, the drill because it's a lot faster. Okay, careful. Always do this gently because it could be glued in there from old paint. And so now, same idea, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in place. What I would do in a situation like this, and you can do this too, I'll paint over all of this to kind of completely make it white. I'm not going through all of that at this moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the plate on there and call it a day, all right? If that's you, you can simply do that as well. What I would prefer to do, if it's for an actual customer or if it's for my actual home, is that I will go ahead and paint that over, and not make it or leave it with that pinky look to it. Now, this might not be you in your example. You might be dealing with different situations. So if that's you, even better. Done. 
All right, so now I've got my plate on there. It looks a little cleaner, it's better. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to assemble both knobs. And to do that, guys, let me get you in place here. And we're going to do that together at this moment. All right, so you'll notice, just like on the old one, this came with two particular screws that are pretty long. And the reason they're long is because they need to go through this knob over to the other one. And so you gotta decide where do you want the key to face. In my example, we're gonna be locking it from the outside, you know, give us a little bit more private. This is gonna be more of a um, office slash bathroom, right? More of a chill room. And so I really don't want everyone to just come in. And so I'm gonna be putting the key facing outside rather than facing inside. So keep that in mind, if that's you, Go ahead and slide it in place. You'll notice here real quick, let me give you a, a close-up visual, actually. you notice that this has this straight down and then this circle, right? It has the same idea as this. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and put the circle where the circle is, and then to get it in, just kind of rotate it gently, and it will fall in place. There you go, you see, it's falling in place. Okay, and keep going until it goes in all the way basically through the holes. The next one here is, let me give you uh, another close-up. All right, let me bring you closer. Perfect. And then from here, go ahead and hold it, right? You notice what I'm doing with my finger, hold it. All right, so this one stays in place. And then, same idea, you'll notice if you look very carefully, right, the round piece is gonna be on this end and the flat piece on that end. So in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and face it like this, wobble it in place. Now the last thing you wanna do is that you notice how the cover goes around. Remember that the two screw holes on the other end are going to be like this, not like this, like that. Each hole needs to be facing straight like that. Once you've done that, we're now going to put our long screws through that hole until you feel it touch on the other side. Put it all the way in like this and you'll know, wobble it gently. Hold on. Wobble it gently and you'll find, and you can even do like a little sneak peek, there it is. Do a little sneak peek by kind of lifting it outward. Like, Pull it out like this just a bit, just to kind of take a sneak peek inside there so you can kind of find it. There it is, got it. Once you got it, just kind of tighten it a bit with your hands. And you already know what we're gonna do last. <laughs> we're not gonna be doing this for 10 minutes with our hands. No, we're gonna use the drill. I'm just aligning it right now, getting it in place. I'm pulling it out for just a bit, just to sneak inside there, take a, take a sneak peek. There it is, got it. Now you notice that there's this marking right here from the old door, door lock. Go ahead and slide it to where it's, it's leveled, it's aligned with it. Make sure it's flushed, right? It's got a good fitting, test it out before you tighten it. And then now we're just going to lock it. There you go. And then do the other side as well. Done. And that's gonna be all we have to do to replace an interior door lock. So that's it. All we gotta do now, we'll go ahead and do a door test. Done. It's good. There it is. Locked in place. Now the plate looks good. Let me give you a visual. Right? Simple. Okay guys, so that's it. That's all it took to replace a door lock inside the house. Consider your interior door. It doesn't matter if it's the bathroom, the bathroom, um, as long as it's interior, this is the door lock for that, very straightforward. The components, the parts, all the assembly aspect, they're all the same. The only thing that changes a bit is what I explained in the beginning with the different ways on how the door lock, the whole knob, the whole cover 
is put together. Look for that align key uh, sign on the bottom of the knob. Look for these snaps around the cover. And if you have two screws like mine, take those off, it'll come off, simple. Um, one thing that we did not do was test the key. So let's go ahead and do a quick little test together. All right, lock it. Boy, do we have some privacy. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, share, um, post any comments, any questions. What do you like, what you did not like? What I try to do uh, moving forward, guys, as I find more and more time available to do videos like this, is share it with you guys. So I'd love to hear what kinds of videos, what do you want me to cover around the house that um, you're interested in learning, perhaps on something you need to do or something that um, you're planning on doing pretty soon. Maybe I can get to those videos right away, right? Before you actually tackle them. In general, you know, I'm making different types of videos throughout the house. Personally, I'm always going to rent or own a home. And so beyond and besides the properties that I'm managing and working on, right? I'm always going to be making those do-it-yourself like videos. Simple stuff like this, but also stuff like building a deck, right? Installing a door, um, you know, staining wood, painting. <laughs> There's just so many videos that I have in mind that are coming. Many I have already created. I just got to edit them and upload it. And there's a few others already that I've done and they are on the channel. If you want to learn more about what I do, guys, go ahead and visit mastermindhandyman.com. If you're in the local area, Orlando, Orange, or Seminole County, I'd love to help. If you're looking for a professional, I've been doing this for several years, but it's not the only thing that I do in terms of, you know, what I do for a living. So uh, Mastermind Handyman is just one of the many things that I do. I'm a business owner and a successful entrepreneur so there's you can imagine a lot more than installing a door lock or painting a house but you know check out my other channels with that topic in mind you'll see that I have several channels featured on this one and so perhaps you find my other content my other expertise useful subscribe to those check those out too really really appreciate it with that in mind I look forward to my next video guys thanks so much for watching take care